Let's go now to American politics expert Dr David Smith from Sydney University's US Studies Centre. And David, uh, really no surprises you'd have to say. Uh, Mitt Romney was expected to win in Illinois. It was just by how much? Uh, yes, no surprises here at all. Rick Santorum has shown that he's actually incapable of winning more northern states with large urban areas. And originally Santorum had said that he could win midwestern states, he could win states with declining manufacturing industries, that he had a message for them. But now that Romney's beaten him in Michigan, Ohio and Illinois, it appears that Romney's actually the only uh, Republican candidate who has any kind of appeal in these places. We, we should mention about Ron Paul and Newt Gingrich as well. They, they didn't campaign uh, that, that heavily in this primary. They didn't campaign. It looks like Gingrich has come fourth at this point. But Gingrich gave an angry, uh, defiant speech saying that uh, America didn't need a candidate who would win by outspending opponents 20 to 1. And he reaffirmed his vow to stay in all the way. So he's apparently not going anywhere for the time being. So it, it does look like this race is going to go right through till June? Uh, it does appear that way, yes. I mean, Santorum did manage to pick up some delegates today. He's likely to have a big win in Louisiana on Sunday. At the moment, Mitt Romney is trying to frame this race in terms of economic management. He's trying to look forward to the general election to basically say, I'm the candidate now. I'm a superior economic manager to Mitt Romney, uh, sorry, to uh, Barack Obama. But Santorum is not going away. He's saying this isn't about economic management. We don't need another manager. What this is about is freedom. It's about these fundamental conservative ideals. So Santorum is certainly not giving any indication that he's going away. And he's going to continue to pick up enough candidates to actually keep the race going. Dr David Smith, great to have your insight again today on Newsday and we'll be talking to you right up till June it looks like. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> okay, Dr David Smith there.